Okay, welcome back. Uh, remember in the last episode, I got the beeper button in. Right here. This turns off the alarm, power fail, on battery power alarm. And now I'm going to install the external battery extension. And for this, I have... I've decided to use a pair of these because I'm not sure what battery I'm going to be hooking up to this alongside the internal little battery. And I have this wire and I've chosen this wire specifically because this wire has a fuse link in it. This end with the fuse links going on to the alligator clip to the battery. And the other end, there is generous length on this, will go into the back of this uh, converter in this hole. Um, I think I have a grommet somewhere I can put in that hole. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to put it in. Now, the thing about my step bit is when it drills holes, it generally deburs the holes and the sharp edges off of those holes. So I got my finger running around in there. There are no sharp edges inside of that anywhere. Not that I could feel anyway. Okay. Now, I'm going to tie this off. I have really no choice. I don't have a strain relief for this sort of thing. Eh, which wire do I need? It's got to come up to here. I want to give it a little slack on the internal. So I'm just going to kind of tie this off. That way it doesn't slip back through the hole. Like I said, I think I have some grommets. And even though this is deburred, this metal casing in here is not. That is a razor sharp edge. I just scratched my thumbnail and got that feeling, that chalkboard feeling go up my spine just now. I do not like that feeling. It makes me cringe. Um, <laughs> whew, that's the feeling I just got raced through my body just now. Okay. Now, what I really want to do here is I would like to put another switch in in line with this, but I won't be able to. Like I said, this wire has a fuse link, but this red wire does have a flaw since it is positive. The fuse link was made for the other end of the of the deal. I could go this way. There is enough wire to go that way. That would definitely make it safer. And the more I think about it, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because I don't want shorts, and I don't want fires, and I don't want problems. That way this part of it will be hanging out of the inverter. So I'm going to cut off this piece of wire here. Just extension to the red and the black which is now knotted up on stuff naturally. Right, so I'll put it in like this. I really need to find my grommets so I can uh, attach them. I would rather, the more I thought about it, the more put the fuse link at the inverter itself instead of at the battery. That way that uh, little connector is kind of protected. Um, so we'll solder 10 these wires. I'm 
Well, come on. Come on. Okay. And here's our black on the battery. And our red is over here. And it is taking a lot of solder, it seems, to, to really get on this. But anyway, we'll get it. Okay. And I will be right back. Hello well, guys and welcome back to the uh, external battery modification for the APC UPS Backups 280. <coughs> this is the one that I put the anti-beeper switch on. And I added in, of course, these alligator clips here. And I have the option with the positive lead. If I can get it unknotted, this stuff gets knotted every time I need to get, get on to it. The positive lead has the battery, I mean the uh, fuse link here. There is a fuse in the link, of course. 15 amps. Probably a little too high. But that's what was in it when I uh, got it, so I'm just going to leave it. I might change it if I feel that it's too high later. And I opted to go the fuse link on this side because the female is here and there's no way to really short this out anyhow. And this part of it is all one piece here. Got these uh, alligator clips on so I can connect onto any type of battery just about easily and that will plug in just like that and the negative is the same as the positive only it's a solid run of wire with the black uh, black alligator on it and they are coming out of the back I did punch hole in here I cut the video because I had to go get the right drill bit, start a pilot hole, and then get the step bit, punch a hole through here. And I said I was going to put a grommet in here, but it, there's really no sharp edges here. I might go in and do a grommet later. I haven't found my box of grommets yet. Um, but this is the next day. Um, I did have this thing plugged in all night. Charging that battery up and uh the battery that's back in here and this thing does put out voltage you know from the the good thing about this since i tap the battery right this can be used without being plugged in the wall now it can be uh it can power any number of things straight from the battery if I wanted to use the internal battery with these clips. So this is a, kind of like a bi-directional connection now. I can put a battery on the charge because it will output power to charge in line with the back current battery or this will output power to power devices and you see that with the meter with 13.8 volts. I plug this it's unplugged and it's still got power and I can even turn off this big switch on the front and we still got about 13 volts turn it back on so the battery inside is fully charged um, right now I guess it's in uh, like a trickle mode or maintenance mode it's not gonna steadily pump power onto it unless it needs it I think but but that's the external battery modification. And since this is tied in the batteries, I opted for this to be unplugged. So there's no risk of shorting anything out when it's not in use with an external battery or device. 
And of course this uh, cable here I can keep with the machine. So yeah, um, that's the video. That's the modification and that's the video. If you like it, thumb it up, subscribe, leave a comment, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, it's YouTube. You know what to do with it. And I will see you guys in the next video.